Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. My name is Salom and welcome to another episode of my Big Brother Niger Gist. If you are new to my channel, please press the subscribe button. Please share this video and check out my other videos after this anyway a lot has happened over the weekend and um, the first thing is my boy miracle won the pepsi challenge so he won one million naira a trip to dubai to watch the um, pepsi djs on a concert and then he won a year supply of pepsi then the housemates had their lunch the lunch where we all thought the family members were going to attend because of how grand it was but then it turned out to be nothing really so payport postponed the themed party to next week so the housemates just had to wear their own clothes and they decided to go with what they wore for their lunch lulu went to meet toby and alex and told them that he had something very important or very serious to discuss with them and he needed it to be between the three of them and he goes on to say that he thinks that there's something you know starting to grow between toby and alex which is what um love mind you it was lulu that was also part of those that what encouraged Toby to go and talk to CC to see if they could mend things. So I found it quite weird that he was the same person that came back to Alex and Toby with that story. But as he continued, you know, putting into their heads, you know, I've been looking at you guys for the past two weeks and I think you like each other, blah, blah, blah. Toby gives his gold bracelet which was gifted by his dad to him to alex and tells alex not to give it back and then we we are like okay excuse but um dude you've given a bracelet to cc have you taken it back no so it made everybody think that evening that oh this guy's just playing a game because probably they just want to feed into what lulu said and make lulu think oh he's right these people really like each other but they don't really want each other that in that sense so he would take the bracelet back later but he didn't and then everybody went oh my gosh this is going to get so angry and surprisingly cc didn't say anything <laughs> about the bracelet yesterday in the evening Ebuka decided to shake more tables this time he shook the table of toby and alex where he asked alex about her relationship with toby and you know alex started beating around the bush talking talking and she did something wrong they've asked you a question about your relationship with a guy and you go on to bring in his ex and she went on about how oh cc is trying to make it look like she came into the house she fell in love with a guy the guy left her and then she being alex went to the guy and blah, blah 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 every other girl would be annoyed by the answer she gave you can answer your question without bringing me into it you can just say oh we are friends or we're starting to feel something for each other and it's fine but don't bring my story with the guy into it especially if since you don't really know how deep the whole thing was so uh um she she said oh you know when we are going to sleep you see you guys see how we sleep now you see the gap between us oh they say she doesn't sleep with leo like that. So why would they think she's having something to do with toby because they sleep in the same bed fine the whole time toby is there just smiling then ibuka asked toby the same question and toby said oh they were friends even though they're in that close from the beginning because of circumstances but they've grown to really understand and like each other so they're really good friends then ibuka said you know, I have a lot of close friends, but I don't give them expensive gifts like the bracelet you gave. Alex and 
Toby said, oh, it has nothing to do with his feeling towards say He just wanted to give her a gift, blah, blah, blah. We've heard you. Then Ebuka asked him again that who did he paint on his wall? And he said it was just spiritual. It was just something he decided to create. It, it didn't have anybody. So those saying it's Cece, those saying it's Regina, those saying it's his mom, those saying it's Anika, please he said he just wanted to draw something nice but then i still think it might be someone he just doesn't want to say it um so yeah the whole time cc is there rolling her eyes shaking her head you know her already and then ebuka asked cc that oh cc i've seen you roll your eyes you know quite for quite some time as i asked alex some questions so you know how are you feeling blah 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 and then Cece's like, she just rolled her eyes because of some stories that um, Alex was saying. And Ebuka asked her to explain. And then she goes on to explain that Alex was making it look like she was spreading rumors about her and Toby. But she has never had that conversation with Alex. People were angry with Cece that she was lying about it. But I feel, yeah, she might have talked about it with Toby or Chloe. But she didn't really address it with alex so in that sense she was saying the truth but you know toby would by all means probably mention it to alex then cc goes on to say that alex throws herself on the boys she's always exposing her boobs and her ass to them so it's okay that's how she feels about her and then Ebuka is like, so you don't feel any type of way about, you know, their relationship and everything. She was like, no. We're like, girl, are you sure? Are you sure? No, I, I understand Sissy if she's hurt about the whole relationship with Alex. Because, you know, when you're with a guy and from the beginning, you keep thinking this girl likes him or this boy might like this girl too. And they keep denying it and suddenly starting to look like... They have feelings for each other and then they're having it in your face. Your bum is be hurt. So let's go on to uh, eviction. So Big Brother called them into the arena. They were asked to pick suitcases. And if any housemates picks one with money, they would lose their wager for the week. And Miracle, the lucky boy, picked the suitcase with 200,000 naira and won that too. Mind you, he won't pay pods game. So the guy for this week, he has won like he has won. That means two hundred, two million, two hundred naira, all for him just this weekend. Ebuka asked Lulu, Alex, Nina, Miracle, Toby to go back into the lounge and was left with CC, Chloe, and Anto in the arena. So they stood there waiting to hear their fate, and Ebuka said. Anto and Chloe have been evicted. So Cece stood there. She later explained to Nina that she didn't get to hug Chloe because she didn't know if she could move from there since they were asked to stand in their spaces. So they just left and was just hair left in the arena. And um, in, back in the house, they evicted Lulu. And you know, Ebuka congratulated. Um, the, ha the housemates in the lounge for making it to the finals so they assumed that they were the only ones making it to the finals they were celebrating talking 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 they then alex started crying hmm. yeah we get it but sometimes she does she overdoes it she was crying biggie called them to the garden where they saw champagne and four glasses so they assumed right away that they were the top four going into the finals nina started crying they were supposed to you know give their speeches about how grateful they were to make it to the finals they gave quite touching you know speeches and then um Toby kept saying, you know, and the caucus made it to the final, and you know, the group, our group made it to the final. And I'm like, calm down, calm down, CC is still there. And I was expecting him to at least say, oh, so CC isn't coming back. But I don't know if I didn't hear it, but he, I didn't hear him say that. And I was quiet, you know, at least she's, I don't know. I don't even know how I feel about the two of them, but I just felt he could have at least asked of. Cece, oh, so Cece is gone or something. 
so they were they pop a miracle pop one champagne he was about to pop the other then the ninja opens the door they all turn and then cc walks in you should see it in slow motion it was epic and then it's like alex face just dropped literally it just dropped and then cc walked in she wasn't smiling you know like she just came there and then they could um i think miracle and toby congratulated her the rest didn't then she just gave her a short speech she took her drink after she went to sit down the rest went in and then she started you know talking to herself and thanking her fans for voting her to stay in the house and everything it was quite sad at that point because everybody was like oh she's alone blah 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 and that's were like ah she brought it to herself let her do with it but i feel at least we should be compassionate she has been through this for weeks who would be able to take this plus it's not like she didn't like to be she has admitted she made mistakes she tried to what, correct them she just goes about it the wrong way but we can't deny the fact that this girl is hurting she's suffering and she doesn't have a friend the first person she asked for when she came in was lulu and lulu wasn't there so now she's alone hmm and it, it goes it gets worse when they start showing videos from their family and friends and then cc's own comes and she looks like and she said to her, oh dana it was sad looking at the reaction from the housemates and her reaction because it looked like she was expecting her sister or her dad or something it was really sad and people went in on her sister they later explained that or oh, the big brother told them that they couldn't contact they couldn't make a video with their family they had to use a friend or something and i'm like the girl has friends even if you don't know her friends they're on her wall call any of them but she needed someone and then you guys couldn't even you know do any video for her it was quite sad it was quite sad and uh she had a conversation with nina where she spoke about what she said about alex and she said she didn't like bam bam felt the same way chloe felt the same way and that alex was doing it with leo she did it with teddy and she did it with toby so she and then she, her conversation with chloe made her see that yes alex really is after toby and all that then toby and alex you know they now take their bath together so they were getting ready to bath and then alex is like oh she's not now going to pretend to be reading the bible blah 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 it's unnecessary darling we all know that some people read bible in the house but let don't don't pay attention to it even before like they went to bath and everything i like said um she only sees herself and three other people in the house she doesn't see any other person and that uh, she she would even want her to win and that if she wins she'll be disappointed blah 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 if if you're feeling somewhere about a person you don't need to say it out loud for everybody to hear that yes you don't like it but i always think like what's alex reason for not liking cc what has Cece done to Alex? Because even with their fights, Cece has gone to talk to Alex for them to sort it out. So it's her problem with Cece's relationship with Toby. So they went on to bath, brush their teeth, then they went to bed. And then Alex goes and starts, you know, her gossip with Toby. And then Toby is like, Cece can't fight everyone the whole week. You can't say Nina is my friend, so every time I'll pull Nina from the group. And you can't be alone so why doesn't cc you know make an effort and come to them and i'm like if you feel bad for her like that you can also try to talk to her because probably she's feeling oh you guys don't like me you guys don't want me around you so she wouldn't be the one to what make the first contact at least try to it wouldn't hurt it's just one week just live peacefully and he's like um cc wants to embrace her flaws and she wants everyone to accept her like that and that's not how it works oh toby i just feel like this is conversations with alex is enough you can talk about every other thing why do you always have to talk about cc if you feel cc is doing something wrong you can go and talk to her you don't have to be scared of her i feel like at this point she's open to listen to advice She's not on the defense like first, so you can go and talk to her instead of discussing it with Alex. And Alex said something that really disappointed me when she said, 
a sissy that bad that she didn't get her family to send her a video I was disappointed because yeah you guys might say people outside are saying it but it doesn't make it okay you you don't know the story someone's story so you don't just talk about it some things are sensitive like family you don't know the dynamics of their family what if it's something deep you don't know how it's affected here because every other person in the house was happy they received what messages from loved ones cc didn't even recognize the person at first you should think that oh how will cc be feeling about this rather than talking down about the whole situation so it was quite bad for her to say that and i don't get why almost every time they're talking about cc she has to always act like cc is this bad person cc has done her so wrong that she has to say all these things about her they really need to let it go this is not the time to hate this is the time to try and do something to get like your last minute votes to win the show so um this morning they were supposed to choose a head of house and miracle said cc has never been head of house so why don't we give her the chance to have that experience to be head of house cc actually accepted it and then toby goes oh he doesn't want any para or whatever i don't know what that means when it comes to changing batches i think it means quarrel so he didn't want any problems because cc will be head of house seriously seriously then Alex is like, yes, she doesn't want any problems. Blah, 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 blah. So Nina should be head of house. Nina doesn't want to be. Then Alex goes, then I'll be head of house. And Sissy said, no, she also doesn't want Alex to be head of house. And now Nina is head of house. But I actually feel they could have looked past the whole thing. This girl is not even fighting you guys anymore. She has le like, she's just living. She's living like you guys don't exist. You guys should also live like she doesn't exist. Just let it be. What would hurt, like it won't hurt anyone for her to be head of house for one week if she wants to fight and you don't indulge it there will be no fights this week being the final week we are looking forward to the people that will be playing their pity card the intelligence card the luck card the everything card and i hope your favorite wins i hope my favorite wins i don't i have three people i like in the house so i hope any of them wins and i hope hope toby stops this thing with alex he should stop talking too much with her if they'll be together fine if the people are actually say he's trying to use alex to get to cc but uh, i don't know so guys let's continue talking in the comments please no hate comments any insults or rude comments i will delete them please like share and subscribe hello to all those who comment every time all those who watch my videos all those who share my videos and please please subscribe i'll see you in my next video iphone one iphone two iphone three